But Sting, it was very interesting. I didn't even realize you were the ref of the uh, Jeff Hardy match. So that was very interesting stuff to kind of get the behind the scenes of that. Yeah, it was uh, it, it was a, a really tricky moment to be in. Um, not one I'm most proudest of, but I mean, you know, hey, things happen. Um, it is what it is. And I think that we all dealt with it as professionals. And so I thought a little insight from my view, you know, because I know that it's been talked about on many podcasts, you know, I, mm -hmm. I know it has, but it hasn't been talked through from the third man in the ring. And so I thought it would be a very interesting thing for people to hear and experience, you know, through their, 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 their visions and just to see what it was like for me um, and all the wrestlers that were involved and, and, and some of, you know, like uh, EB that was involved and things of that nature. So I think, you know, I think me and RG did a really good job of covering the, 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 the you know, the, the, the night um, and the day leading up to that night. So, you know, and that's what we're trying to do is just get, you know, dig in, go back story wise and just start from there and let everybody know how it was pretty unique to like have that happen just that situation because you hardly ever see something like that you know the big star you don't know if he's quite with it or, or he's going to make it and you and sting seem pretty calm about it but it's like okay we'll deal with it but i mean that's got to be a situation that never normally happens no no, no never uh that, that that would be the first yeah, which is which is crazy for somebody who's been in the business as long as i have but uh that was the first on that kind of stage as far as you know being a pay-per-view main event um you just have to just go with the punches and do the best we can. So, and that's what we did. And I know it didn't come out the way people wanted it to come out or, you know, I don't know. It just, it, 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 it was what it was, you know, at that point. Yep. Obviously Jeff was in a bad place then. He's in a better place now for sure. Oh yes. Yeah. And, he, and he's a good guy. None of the stuff I ever talk about was meant to be uh, disparaging to him or anything like that. I mean, he's a good, great guy. And, and I feel like this was the wake up spot in his life, you know, for him to, maybe get himself together and, and turn his life around. And um, I'm, I'm just very, very happy and humble for him and, and just terrible feeling for him. Cause I know this is nothing he'd ever want to do intentionally. You know what I mean? This is just yep. not the way he's, the way he's built and the way he is. So once again, I just want to say, you know, I, I, it's never nothing bad. I'm saying that, you know, I was just right. telling the truth and that's what my podcast is all about is the truth. And um, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you got to get that story out there. The uh, the, you know, the third the third story for sure. Yeah, that's great. With Sting and that whole situation is going on, he seemed like oddly calm. Like, oh, we can handle it. We can like, is that how he is normally? He's just like uh, cool hand Luke. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've I've never seen him, and I've done many matches with him. I've never seen him freak out of a out of a situation. Um, he didn't out of this one either. Um, he actually did try to, you know, to continue on to see what we could get out of Jeff at that point in time, just to see if we could put something together for a main event pay-per-view for a world championship match. So, I mean, I, hats off to him. He tried. Um, I tried. We, 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 me and him were communicating back and forth, back and forth. And just, you know, we just realized that at some point it just wasn't going to happen. You know, it just wasn't going to happen. And it was a savior for everybody, for me, for Sting and, and even Jeff, you know, because you don't, you can't work under those unsafe conditions. When that happens, I didn't even realize. Like, it's, you didn't know Bischoff was going to come down, right? Like, that was like kind of a an ad lib on his part, right? It wasn't planned. No, that was, yeah, that was a definitely impromptu. Um, and no, I, I think that that was just a matter of, hey, I need to buy some time. I need to figure out what's going on. I need to figure out where Jeff's at. I need to figure out where you guys are at. I need to figure out what we can get out of this kind of thing. And um, I, I mean, I would just say another hats off. And I don't know how many I give off, but anyway, another hats off to um, EB Eric Bischoff. Uh, just handled it so professionally and it was so calm. And I don't know if you ever went back and watched it or you saw it live or whatever, but I mean, he was not like stressed out and freaking out. I mean, he was very calm um, in his role, the way his character was. And I just thought it was a phenomenal job and we bought some time. Um, so that, that, that helped a lot. I remember watching it live too. I went back and watched it too, but I remember watching it live and being like, something, something is off here, but you couldn't tell. Cause it almost seemed like a wrestling storyline. Oh, Bischoff is coming in to do some sort of swerve. And, but then you saw sting when he walked out, how mad he was like, oh, maybe that wasn't like you, you almost got a sense that it was a, a work, but then you're like, no, that was definitely real. You know, that was, that was crazy. No, it was definitely real. It was yeah. <laughs> trust me. Yeah, it was oh, definitely yeah. real. There was no work <laughs> about that at all. Yeah. But as a fan, when you're first watching, you're like, wow, what is going on? Like, you're almost confused. Like, what the hell sure, is going I get on it. out there? Yeah. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. 
please help me out and like this video. Then click the subscribe and get notifications buttons so you don't miss any of my latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Facebook at The Hannibal TV for more live streams and videos. And while you're at it, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Hannibal TV.